Hi y'all. Um, filling my tractor tires with water. Uh, again, I live in Hawaii, as you can see. Beep. Uh, don't need to use antifreeze. If you're in a state that freezes, you got to obviously use antifreeze or something. Um, windshield washer feud is what they would use. Anyways, filling it with water with the slime kit, adapter kit. Comes with the extra fittings. I unscrewed the main. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is do it quick because I let all the air out, lost my bead. Then I had to put a big ratcheting strap on there, ratchet it, and took forever to get my bead back. So do it quick. Leave the pressure in there. Just do it under pressure. Get the water thing hooked up real quick. This way you won't have to go through that. I wish I would have watched this video first and not let all the pressure out. Getting that bead back took forever. And what I did is I jacked it. And then put it back down on the two stands lightly so the main jack in the center is still holding all the pressure. And it just keeps it from wobbling with the two outside ones. So you don't want to tip it on you. Okay, so this one's already filled. And it, uh, I put the bucket down a little bit just to help keep it sturdy. And um, it's, I'm putting the, instead of a ballast box because it'll keep the weight nice and low, I have a tipping problem here as you can see. It's kind of kind of hilly back there where I'm doing my work, and I almost tipped it a couple times. So this weight should act as a ballast box. They say each tire can handle about 60 gallons, so that's a lot of weight there. That'll help hopefully keep me lower to the ground. As you're filling it, stop the water once in a while and then let the pressure out. When that goes full of water like that, that means you're full of water. So I'm full of water right now, otherwise the air would come out. So now I'm full and I'm ready to uh, stem back in. All right, hope this helps.